Hi there, I'm Mike. And I'm Chris. Today, we're going to have a look at the NEJ Master 2S Plus to see if it deserves a spot in the workshop. This is the NEJ Master 2S Plus. It's a $260 laser engraver and cutter that claims it can cut up to 8 millimeters of plywood. It comes with N4630 laser module rated at 7.5 watts optical power. The working area is 255 by 420 millimeters. We have especially one big use case for a laser, cutting project boxes. We build a lot of IoT devices on this channel and we don't consider any project complete until it's in a proper enclosure. Ordering ugly project boxes from China is not environmental friendly, nor do they look good. And we never have the perfect box in terms of size and shape at hand when we need it. We have been considering building a CO2 laser, and I've actually bought a lot of parts already. But while in this process, suddenly Niji reached out to us asking if we want to try out one of their lasers, promised to be able to cut 8mm of plywood. Of course we accepted. Full disclaimer, Niji sent us this laser for free. We are not paid by NeoJ, and they don't have anything to say in the video, nor do they get to see the video before it's released. So we are free to say exactly what we think about it. The most common materials we need to cut are 3 and 4 mm plywood, and sometimes we need to cut acrylics, usually about 2.5 mm thick. First off, black acrylics, a bit more than 2.5 mm, according to suggested cutting settings from NeoJ, for 3mm acrylics, speed should be 120mm per minute, power 100% and 2 passes. Please note that the suggested cutting setting does require air assist. Leaving the protective paper on the acrylics does not affect the cut, but it leaves a cleaner surface at the end. That's no problem for the laser, a perfect cut and clean edges. It's worth mentioning that a dyed laser can't cut transparent or very light colors of acrylics. That's simply due to the wavelength of the laser. For cutting very light and clear acrylics, you need a CO2 laser. But cutting dark and black acrylics is no problem. Next up is 3mm plywood. The suggested cutting speed is 120mm per minute, 100% power and one pass. This result surprised us. With just one pass, we made it through. Please be aware that not all plywood is alike. Wood type and density, variation in thickness, twig knots, especially in the middle layers, glue and more will affect the cutting performance. To be sure, we usually run the laser at 170 mm per minute, 100% power and two passes for 3 mm plywood. Then it's time for 4mm plywood. The suggested cutting speed is 80mm per minute, 100% power and one pass. But let's also cut one square with the suggested settings for 5mm as well. That's 120mm per minute, 100% power and two passes.
Viewing the backside of the board, the 4mm settings did not cut all the way through, but it's close. The 5mm settings cut straight through. So far, the laser has no problem cutting acrylics and 3 and 4mm plywood. Since Niji claims the laser can cut even 8mm plywood, we had to test it. As you can see, it does cut 8mm plywood with clean edges. All in all, we are very impressed with the Niji N4630. It performed even better than we believed it would. So, where does this leave us in terms of our CO2 laser build? Actually, we're not sure. The laser does most of the things we need. Compared to a K40 or a Glowforge, it can't cut clear acrylics and it's slower. But it's still a very capable machine. It's way cheaper and takes up a whole lot less space. When we're done with it, you can just place it on a shelf or hang it on the wall. Currently, we have put the CO2 laser project on hold. Since we're now hooked on diode lasers, we are going to compare the N4630 laser with its bigger brother, the A4640. It features a dual 7.5 watt laser. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss the next video.